In this video, I'm going to show you a great little route combo out of Bunch. It's going to be able to beat every coverage in this game. It's going to have one of the better routes in the game combined with one of the best route combos in the game. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about the Gun Bunch offense, make sure you join our Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. You can become a Patreon member today for just $10, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 eBooks. We have four different variations of the Gun Bunch in there. Today, we're in the Detroit Lions play playbook but this play is found in all uh several different playbooks it's mesh post and we're going to show you why mesh post i think is probably the most versatile play from bunch this year because of what it can do against man and zone coverages so the play is mesh post and what we want to do with this play um there's no hot route abilities required you don't have to have hot route master you don't have to have outside apprentice you don't have to have anything all you're going to do is you are going to streak your slot receiver you are going to smoke screen your solo receiver. You're going to slant your tight end. You're going to motion this guy out. And then from here, you can kind of do all kinds of stuff. Um, what I like to do is in route my running back. So we're going to get a little bit of a mesh concept over the middle. And then we have this kind of daggerish uh, concept up the top with the streak clear out and the uh, post route coming underneath it. So what you're going to see is you're going to want to throw this this uh, little underneath route if it is open. You want to force your opponent to have to play hard flats. It's really important in this game that we force our opponent to respect the underneath quick game that we can have from this. Let me show you this left side as well. You're going to notice here that my slant route is going to get open right in that little pocket right there late in the play. Now I can force feed this post route, which I'm going to show you that here. I can force feed this post route, um, especially if I have a good quarterback like an Aaron Rodgers or whatever. You're just going to throw it right there. Once he kind of passes under the streak, that's where you want to throw the ball. If you wait any longer to throw that ball against cover four, you are going to throw an interception. So you want to throw this, you'll see here right where he cuts, right there. That's where the window is going to be, and that's what you want to hit. Now, the beauty of this play is against cover three and cover two, it's a little better. Um, I will say I think cover four, actually, if they shade underneath, you're going to notice it's going to get a lot more open because the yellows and the hard flats, they're not going to drop back as far. So it's a little bit smoother of a read. And they're going to have to play hard flats to stop the running back, to stop the smoke screen, to stop everything underneath that we can do. So let's say that the user, the post because that's the best route in the play if they use the post out of cover four then what we're going to be able to do is he's going to run he's going to have to get over into that seam area so what's going to happen is this tight end little slant it's going to be a dump off right there and we're going to be able to keep the ball moving down the field now where this play really excels in my opinion is against cover three cover three has always been one of the most popular uh play calls in madden year over year i don't think it's any different this year i do think people are still calling a lot of cover three a lot of double flat this is a great play for that because what you're going to notice is again the window that that post route is going to come open it's going to come open right in this window right here now the other thing that's nice about cover three is because there's no safety help from the backside because of the way they're going to structure this defense there's not going to be any safety help from the backside so what you'll notice is that this um this slot receiver is going to clear out the deep third and this post is going to be open for longer so you have all of this grass right here to be able to throw that post in that little alley so this is a very effective play um against cover a uh, cover three a lot of people right now in madden are doing this basic principle this is something that i talked about earlier in the year as one of the best defenses in the game the the basic idea of like we're going to outside third or outside guys and we're going to cross man these um you know these inside guys i still think this is one of the best defenses in the game and you'll see against something like this and man to man this uh post route is going to win and then it's also a lot of times that slot that can get bumped and you can get a touchdown against a defense like that so if they're playing all out man coverage this play is a really good play for that as well um, because of what we can do, you know, again, with this this idea of the fact that they're going to probably do some variation of this defense here. Um, a lot of times you'll see, you know, the slant will be open to the tight end, the in route will be open, and then a lot of times you'll actually get this bumping action where he'll be open over the top if I can make a free form. But you see the guy's wide open over the top. Now, if it's just straight up man coverage, it's actually really, really easy um, to get some separation against man with this play. This post route 
is really consistent against man. The uh, slant is really consistent against man. The running back's kind of good um, against man, but really the best read, of course, is this post against man-to-man. -man. It's very simple, um, but it gets really good separation against man coverage. Now, the last coverage I want to go over with you is a match defense. If they are running match coverage, um, you don't see match a lot because it is kind of easy to manipulate this year. Uh, but if they are going to run some match coverage, your running back is going to be pretty open. You also are probably going to have this guy over the top, as you can see. We're able to cook match coverage over the top. We're getting that same action where we're getting that confusion, that bumping that is really, really um, kind of like really fluky in this year's game, to be honest. But it really is actually more consistent than you would think. So this little, uh, you know, you've got that there. If you just watch this, you know, you'll see here that my slant was standing wide open as well. Uh, that tight end slant. I'll show you that one more time. Uh, but again, guys, if you want to check out the rest of the gun bunch, I would really encourage you to learn this offense. If you don't run bunch, it's still a really good offense to learn. It's kind of the hallmark of Madden. It's one of the best offenses every single year uh, for a reason. You see how open this slant is against match coverage. So this play really does check all the boxes, able to beat everything. And it spaces the field really well, which is one of the most underrated things when you're passing the ball. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, we've got four different variations of it in our Patreon. We're going to give you the very holistic experience learning the gun bunch offense. Thank you for watching the video. Again, if you want to check it out, head down to the description below, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.